And now I'm sanding! Yay! Right, so the bottom's been sanded. So the bottom has been sanded to 320 grit. It has had two coats of sanding cedar on and it's also had Yorkshire grit. Then it's had another two coats of sanding cedar on top uh, because I want to put something on it. Now you know when you have good ideas and you think, yeah, that's a great idea. Well, I had this idea. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Um, but I'm actually going to paint the bottom of the bowl rather than the top on this occasion. So my method of attack is going to be this and black paint. So I have done a little test on something earlier. It didn't come out too badly. Obviously, if it does go badly on this, then it's going to be rather soul destroying considering how much work I've put into the finish of the bottom. So. Uh, let's give it a go and let us see Not quite how I wanted it to come out, but we're going to try something else as well then. In this case, back in a second. Right, so it looks like I've actually just painted the whole thing. I haven't. Um, I've done some artistic slopping the paint on. Right, so I'm going to stick it back in the chuck. And I'll come back once that's on. So here we are back on a lathe, I'm going to use some silver paint, some painter's touch by Rust-Oleum, I'm not going to put the shroud on, I'm just going to turn it down and I am going to get some silver on the brush and I am going to Flick it. So I shall just keep doing that, painting and flicking. Let's drop in there and look. It's a lot of mess. Okay. Quite good fun though. I just don't care. It's going everywhere. A lathe. Oh, not a lathe bed though, because I've covered that. I've been sensible. Splatteroonie. Right, now I'm just going to see if anything happens when I turn it up. I'm going to step out of the way for this. Yeah, look at that. 
That is pretty cool. So you could probably guess at the end of that last clip, I wasn't too happy with the result. Um, it's like one of those things where you have it in the back of your mind and you know what you want to do or you, want to, you, you know what you want to achieve. Um, but the reality comes out nothing like it. Um, I'm sure we've all had those moments. So anyway, I didn't like it. Um, and I wasn't going to settle with it, although I was going to, but I'm not now. So um, I've done this. So I've sanded, cleaned it. Um, I've actually got a nicer curve on this, so it, it worked out quite well. Um, I sanded it, put some sanding cedar on, and we are ready to put some paint on now. Uh, some more aerosols. So using Rust-Oleum Painters Touch White Spray, we're going to turn this on slowly and just give it a couple of coats. And second coat of Rooney. Using the white paint, I'm going to spray a thick layer ring on top of the white inside the box. Speed it up a bit. Cool. And now we're going to try a, another colour, which I haven't used yet. Now this colour is from Aldi. My missus picked it up because she thought I might like it. I've not used it yet. Um, let's quickly try on a bit of paper. Okay, so I've not used this before. This is meant to be copper. I say it's from Aldi. So, sorry for the flickering light. I'm not sure why it's flickering. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Behave yourself. Right, you're going to have to put up with it, I'm afraid, because that's the only light I've got. So, right. so now we're going to try this on the inside. Slow it down again. Okay, now I'm going to spin it up. See what happens now that I'm loving I'm loving it that is really cool now I'm going to do one more spray famous last words one more spray on the inside note how I'm going off this onto the bowl to control how much paint I'm using this by the way is a happy accident as well this was actually my pencil pot which happened to fit exactly into this Mortis. Just stop that a second. Yeah, so I need to spin it a little bit more. Feathering out. Let's have a look. Ooh, look at it. Look at it. It's very cool. That there will come out, leaving a lovely clean bottom. 
Right, so the side of this bolt is really nice underneath. It's going to be quite plain on top, but the edge is quite boring. So what you want to do is try and put a little bit of detail on boring things. That's the whole idea. Just make a little bit of effort. I could leave that. That'd be easy to leave that. Um, but I just want to put a little tiny detail on it and see if it works. If it doesn't work, then I can also I'll always take it off. Um, but I'm just going to put a little tiny recess in here so I can get some of the copper paint in there. Um, and then I can clear off the rest so it'll be wood, copper, wood. Let's just see. I'm going to have to take off some of this front as well. Uh, there's the thinnest part there, so that's what I'll be working off. Um, so I'm going to have to face this off. So I'm going to have to be closer to this edge than I am that edge, so I can afford to take some off, okay? So here we go. really is just a tiny little detail like that. So it has moved a bit but I've got enough wood on this side. I've got about a millimetre or so uh, and enough to take off this side when I need to. I've sprayed some aerosol copper in here so very slowly just gonna I'm going to sand that before I take any of the meat out so this has some support.
Yes, more sanding. Woo! Chopper Hampshire Sheen original. Thanks for sticking with me through that one. Bit of a long video, but uh, hopefully it's worth it. But hopefully it was worth it. Here it is. Centrifugal pattern. A bit different. The lines were originally created by the white paint and then the copper sort of followed the existing lines, which made for an interesting pattern. Um, I really like this. I, I really like this idea. I think that uh, I could have possibly waited until the whole lot had dried and then put another coat of copper over the bottom. That could be for another project. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I really like this one. Um, yeah, very cool. And a close up. So I hope you like this project and I'll see you again another time. Take care guys.